Lion RJ, 29 points after ESPN disrespected yes, him. My man came out with a 10 of 14 game, 6 of 6 for downtown, 3 of 4 from the free throw line, 5 boards, 2 dimes. A costly turnover down the stretch, but he came back and knocked down that three in the in, in the end to 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 really bring us back into the game and tie. He still tied the game. Mm. You know he's gonna learn in crunch time, man. But he still tied the game up for us, which is which is huge. Bro. Loved R.J. Barrett. Yeah, everything you said, 100. percent I I feel like you know I know it's the, the probably the the fan in me more than the you know trying to pay attention. But it's just like there was there's some moments I feel like he was iced out a little bit. Uh, I feel like there was some attempts there towards the end that could have gone to him. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, for what he did with what he had, he was tremendous tonight. Like, yeah. He he was hitting shots because at first it was all corner three. So I was just like, that's right. Uh, he's, he's starting to pick that up. But then he's hitting them from the top. He hit the last one on the move. Like RJ Barrett was getting comfortable. You're seeing him hit that mid range of more comfort. But yeah. at the same time, when he's having a night like that, like I don't I don't want to put a damper on the parade, but. When I only see him taking 14 of those shots and he's shooting that well, like uh, in a game like nicely, this, I would like bro. to see him take more. But. Shooting nicely. I believe the stat is in the last five games, he's 16 to 22 from downtown. Might be even Look better that. than that, but that's what Look I had that. counted. Uh, Breen had said 14 to 20 at, I think that was in like the third quarter. And I, and he definitely knocked down at least two more in the fourth. So this, he might be up to 16 to 22 from downtown. Um, Got to figure out how to, how to, get the ball in his hands down the stretch as well got to yeah. figure it um, out yeah a little bit too much uh dribble dribble action towards yeah. the end there but it was, it was again it's you know it's bad but at the same time it just everyone looked tired like yeah you know, it just didn't, uh, uh, what what are your what how do you feel about that like be be real like yeah. how how are you, do you feel like you know it's because he's still young so you know he's still 20 so he has yeah. some time and rah, 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 rah. like how do you feel about that i think there's some nick slander in it like like halliburton for example Thank if you. halliburton was on the knicks he would never be on this list at all right he would never be on this list he shouldn't be on this list period in place of rj barrett yeah and because i gotta factor in wins mm-hmm. i gotta factor where the team is right now thank you and and mm-hmm. and they gave him no credit for improving his efficiency numbers year over year. Yeah. I'm taking Halliburton out of there. I'm taking Jared Goodbye. Allen out of there. Goodbye. Mm-hmm. I'm taking uh, Macau Bridges out of there. Yep. He's having a good year himself. Having a very yep. good year. Phoenix number two seed in the West. Give him credit. But Cal- do they think he's going to become a superstar all-star? Right. Like, what the, what's that mean? What you mean? Well, right. like, well, I don't Top understand. 25 and 25? I'm not putting right. Macau. He's a role player, man. That's what I'm saying. I'm Sorry. not putting Macau Bridges in I like in him, there. but no. No, yeah, no, 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 no. Everything else I'm okay with. Um, mm-hmm. I'm okay with most of the list. So when you get to the bottom, things get a little hairy. Halliburton, John Collins, Jared Allen. I, RJ, RJ has to be in there for one of them. I think what irritated me the most is just seeing the top three on the last few draft classes on there. But R.J. Barrett got left off. You see John, you get Zion, and yet again, R.J. Yeah. Barrett slept on. That's right. You know what I mean? You're seeing this year with – I mean, James Wiseman wasn't on there, but th- there's a conversation for that, but I'm going to leave that to the Warriors fans and I don't because I don't care. I can yeah. only care about R.J. right yeah, now. But, facts. you know, you got LaMelo, got Anthony Edwards on there. You know what I mean? Third yeah. overall pick, uh, LaMelo Ball. So it's just I'm seeing these names, and then you named all the names that just irritated like – I, I do like Tyrese Halliburton. I'm a fan. Yeah. I think that he could be something, but at the same time, for you to jump to that assumption that potentially he's going to be this great player, the where, where, are you, where are you basing this off? Right. The hype. You know what I mean? Over guys like R.J. Barrett that's not on this list. Yeah. And I'm sure there's tons of other NBA fans that have other names that they're throwing under, but I, like I said, I can care less about them when you got R.J. Barrett right now on a playoff yeah. team and a big part, a big factor of that playoff team. Yeah, that is not even being looked at. Period. He's got to be crazy. It's just yeah. There's a lot of bias on there for sure. They know what they're doing because they're gonna get the clicks from us. They're gonna get the responses from us. Yeah. Now people are looking at it because we're bringing it up. So I get it. Mm -hmm. But and 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 the clicks start. The clicks start from throwing Lamelo in there over over Booker. They put Lamelo at the top top ten, bro. At the top Top ten because they know he's box office. And he's had, he had a great year, you know, I love Lamello, before but. the reverse injury. But Melo came and, and showed that he's ready to go. He belongs, no doubt. Right. And he's going to be a special right. player, no doubt. But, you know, they threw him right there under Luka's eye. They threw their three most marketable. At the t- they they, at the they t- did. T- they basically. Did. 
And no basis for anything. Zion and Melo, yep. You know. Yep. That's a different conversation if you change the name of the list to that. Yeah. Like, then I get it. Oh, okay. That's it, man. That's it. <laughs> Most marketable 25 yeah. on the So team. it's only right. My man came out with 29 <laughs> points, 10 of 14 from the field. Put some respect on his name. Timing's perfect. As I said, he came into this game shooting 14 to 20 in his last five games from three. I'm sure that number has gotten to go up in, in uh, this game alone. Because if we go, let's take a look. So to everybody in the chat once again. Let's go to his stats real quick. And then we're going to wrap with Dan from Long Island. All right. Let's go to his stats and see what's going on. So to everybody in the chat. Um, we got uh, Lockie Walker checking in. Everybody in Australia, New Zealand, what's going on? NZ Richie, how you feeling? Hospice checking in from Vancouver Island, Canada. Iller checking in from T. Dot. Iller, what's going on? I figured Iller would have called in with RG's big night. We didn't hear from Iller oh, tonight. Yeah, 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 yeah. Didn't That's hear so from Iller tonight. RG, the OG, St. Paul, Minnesota. All right, so Midwest is in here heavy. So, so we'll just St. Paul, Minnesota. <laughs> Let's go to RJ's numbers here, shall we? Let's take take a look and see what's going on. ESPN's um, website is a killer. <laughs> just a killer. All right. Absolutely. Let's take a look. Last 10, he's shooting 37% from three. But if we take a look at the recent games, let's go to his last few games from three. This thing is taking forever to load. Nine tight people. All right, so tonight (laughs) he was 6-6 against Boston. Against the Nets, he was 4-6 from downtown. Detroit 101, Dallas 205, and Minnesota 3-4. So there that is, last five games. I don't know. Yeah, 22. 22. 16 22. to 22 that's, is what that's I have. That's crazy, man. And remember, remember we were talking about the start of the season. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yep. That's what I said. 16 to 22. Kid, so I was right yeah. from what I said earlier. 16 to 22.